Hey everybody, it's me, Yokel, and I'm back with some more Feed the Beast Revelation, guys. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I have been making quite a bit of progress here on our uh, astral sorcery area, as you can see. I've got, uh, got the infuser set back up. I've got my ritual. Well, I guess it was always, I never moved it. I got the, all this stuff going here. Been doing a little bit of uh, landscaping. I, I couldn't decide. At first I thought, I want grass up here. And then I had it all grass and I was just like, yeah, you know, I think maybe I like that purple deck after all. So I started putting the purple deck back up here and I was just like, yeah, you know, I kind of like the grass too. So I just kind of split the difference. I got a little bit of both. So I don't, that may look a little too crazy. You, got, you guys have to let me know what you think about that. And uh, if you like it, I will continue to build out like that. And if you don't like it, then uh, I'll, I'll come up with something else to do. So anyway, right now what I'm doing is I am... Working on a little problem here. I am trying to figure out how I can automate the creation of treated wood from immersive engineering. You can see I have all this creosote oil being cooked up over here in the Coke oven. And I feel pretty confident that I can pull the oil out of there and store it and uh, add wood to it automatically. It's just the part where it actually crafts is what I'm having a little bit of trouble uh, wrapping my head around right now. So I'm trying out something here. Um, I don't think this is going to work. I'll just be straight up with you on that. But I figure, hey, I'll try it. We'll see what happens here. I have a mechanical crafter from Extra Utilities here. And I'm just trying to see. Um, let's see. Is it? Oh, <laughs> right. It goes like this. I'm just trying to see if I can get it to use a bucket of water without having a bucket of water in it and it looks like it will not and this is what I was expecting so I'm trying to pump water right into it I have a recipe that requires a water bucket but it's not going to do it as you see so I can do like that and it'll make one for me but then then that's it I need to pull the bucket out refill it with water and then put it back in for it to work so uh, and that's not actually the recipe I want to use I, I was just testing it with it because I had the materials for it and yeah, it'll probably be handy to have one of these later so I'll just throw that in there so, um, I need to find a way to fill a bucket, and I, I specifically with the creosote, uh, so I, I don't think I can use a dispenser. I guess I, I could probably make a pool of it somehow using the placer, and uh, I don't know. It sounds, sounds like a big rigmarole, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away, and I'm going to jump to the next part, um, that uh, that I want to get to and that is actually doing some more stuff with the astral sorcery mod and let's see the Sun is going down one of the things that I plan to do today is I plan to infuse my mantle finally and I've been thinking about it and I think the one that I want to infuse with is uh, the Visio right Visio will let us fly like we have an Elytra on so we're gonna need to do a uh, couple things here. First thing we need to do is we need to get a rock crystal. And in this case, I don't believe it matters if it's a big one or a small one. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a, uh, a small one here. Looks like 53% uh, 50, purity. That's a good one. And then I just need to wait until, um, you know, until sundown and cross my fingers that Visio is out. And it probably will be. It's one of the base ones. And those are usually available. Uh, so let's see, we can set that up ahead of time here. Let's shift right click and we'll grab our Visio constellation paper. Put that in my off hand, put my spectral relays in that hand. And oh, right, I got to wait for it to actually be out in the sky. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming up. Okay, so we can see it a little bit here. So let's see, it's right there. Yeah. And there. And there. Oh, and. That's not right. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, it disappeared. <sighs> no, wait. It's why is it back? <laughs> why is it back? This is confusing. There we go. Okay. Well, I don't know what that was all about. So let's see. It is Visio. Yeah, it's Visio. All right. Okay. Okay. There we go. We'll just let that cook for a second. Oh yes, isn't it beautiful, Mr. Zombie? Don't you wish you could attune yourself to Visio? Wouldn't that be funny if you could tune the mobs? And there we go. Uh, there, let's... That's very loud. <laughs> let's just turn that off. 
All right, so now what we do is we come over here to our iridescent altar and we put our attuned rock crystal in there. And you can see now it's got the Visio constellation on it. So, all right, so let's take a look at this mantle recipe. Let's see what we're going to need here. We're going to need sugar, string fish, and one, two, three, four, whoa, six feathers. I don't think I mentioned it, but you might have noticed I moved the workshop. I used the RF builder to move it from here over to there. I wanted to turn it 90 degrees, which worked just fine. The problem was is it didn't turn these mushroom blocks 90 degrees. So the outside of the building looked like that instead of red, and I didn't like that. So I uh, re had it build the, the, the same orientation as it was over here. And uh, the other thing is it didn't take everything. That was one thing I was curious about. So it didn't take the storage drawers. It didn't take the chests. It didn't take the machines. Um, I can't remember if it took the furnaces or not. I think it took the furnaces, but yeah, it left all of this stuff. So I ended up moving a bunch of stuff by hand too. And that was uh, one of the questions I had had about it. So that was uh, good, good to have that question answered. So, okay, so I'm going to put this guy here. Oh, he's got starlight in him. Hang on, let's see if we can't get that out of him. Can I craft it out? No. Uh, can I like shift right click? Uh, can I shift right click on it? Hmm. I bet this will work. I bet if I put a fluid transfer node on here, it'll suck it up into it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Break that. And then when I break that, yay, there we go. Problem solved. Iron anvil. Ding, ding, ding. All right, now we take our anvil and our transfer node and make a flat one just like that. There we go. Eight flat ones even. You guys have heard me go on and on about how much I love these things. And there we go. It's working very slowly. All right, now let's see. Um, I have a mechanical user here also. I was going to use that for something different, but this might actually be what I need to fill my bucket. So let's just see if uh, I put it this way. Is that right? Yeah, okay. And then I'll put my bucket in here. Place block. Use item on block. There we go. Activate block with item. All right, so it's raining, and I hate rain. <laughs> and it is coming nightfall, so it's going to be time to do our mantle. So let's do that. Let's grab our stuff here. I just put it away. I'm going to grab it back out. Oh, there we go. All right, mantle in the middle, feathers around the outside like that, our star metal here. Uh, am I missing something? All right, so it's not going to let me use the mantle I currently have because it is broken. So, I guess we'll make a new one <laughs> and figure out how to repair this one later. All right, get you out of there. Okay, that goes in the middle. Let's see, I believe these go like this, like that. No, <laughs> not like that at all. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> not even close. Okay, where's my weak one? There we go. Great, okay, let's get this guy. Okay, while that's doing that, let's go... Oh, no. Uh, I need to do the rest of those. I'm going to need those feathers, that, 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 and that. So grind these up real quick. Uh, oh, and look at that. It's ready to go. Waiting on me here. <laughs> and there we go. Hmm, now what? <laughs> ah, just needed to be patienter. Okay, now I have my mantle of stars that's not all busted up. <laughs> <laughs> so we can do the Visio enchant now. Hopefully, let's see, I believe it was this. Oh, and of course we got to put our moon crystal in there. There we go. Okay, let's do this one now. 
Feather. Sugar. String. Fish. By my powers combined. Anytime now. <laughs> hey, and there we go. We got our mantle of stars with VCO on it. Yay! Whee! Look at that. Oh man, glide like an angel. <gasps> Wait a minute. I thought it had a cool color on the front. Oh well. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, and it leaves a trail. Ooh, let's check that out. That's cool. All right, let's see if I can do this third person here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Neat. Now there is a uh, a nice little thing that we can make to complement this, I believe. Let's go over here. Is it under Constellation? Where are you? Wand of Attunement. Vorcio. Is it Avatos, I think? No. Yeah, there we go. A Visio. Oh, it's the Visio one. Okay, that makes sense. So we're going to need six... Six feathers. <laughs> How many do I have? I have one here. Here, let's put that stuff away. I don't need that right now. Hmm. Yeah, there's one feather. And... Okay, I have three feathers. So I need three more feathers. I... Not going back out looking for more feathers right now, so I'll, I'll take care of that later. This will be fun for now, though. This will be this will be plenty. Let's go back over here and see if we can't play around a little bit with this uh, this doohickey here. I think I have an idea. So all right, so we know how to fill the bucket with creosote now. So now we need to get the bucket out, and I think I want to use another flat transfer node. This time we'll need to use a regular one. Oh, all right, there's our transfer node. I want this again. I'm gonna make some flat ones. There we go. And let's see, what else do I need? I needed to make, I've got my flat transforms. I need a filter, so let's uh, see what that costs. That's, need a little bit of string. Each, each keen, we just need string, cool. And then what I wanna do, let's see, can I, yeah, I do it this way. All right, so let's grab, um, Let's grab the creosote bucket. Okay, let's think about how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna say whitelist creosote buckets. We'll right click on there, it'll fill the bucket. We'll send it up. Send it up into there. Okay, that got it. There we go. Uh, creosote bucket. Not working. Huh. Why is this not working? Grid power. Wait a minute. Oh, because it's nighttime. <laughs> it's nighttime. That's why it's not working. It needs some grid power. Duh. Okay, now, fingers crossed. This has made some treated wood. Yeah, there we go, great. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to take the uh, empty bucket and put it back into there. And I think I can do that with uh, another filter. All right, and then I can use a regular transfer node. There it is. All right, now we'll put this uh, here. And what? Good grief. <laughs> All right, will you not do that? Oh, yay, I love it when wrenches work. Cross mods. All right, cool, I think that's gonna work well enough. So let's go ahead and just put a whole bunch of wood in there for right now. And uh, I'll worry about uh, automating this later. Uh, you know, a automating the uh, adding the wood. What are we gonna do with treated planks, you ask? Well, that is a good question, and I am going to tell you. So we're gonna make some fences out of it. Hmm. 
Yeah, and probably some other stuff, but we're going to make some fences out of it right now because we are going to make a storage tank from Immersive Engineering. Let's take a look at that tank. All right, so we are going to need 34 iron sheet metal. The, uh, the tank is a multi-block structure from Immersive Engineering. Uh, this is not part of it. <laughs> this is just me goofing. There we go. And then here is how we do it. Uh, okay, you need four of these guys. Um, then we're going to take our iron sheet metal. We're going to stick one in the middle like so. And uh, there we go. Then we're going to go around ourselves like so. Oh, come on. <laughs> Big fat hands. Big fat fingers, no coordination. There we go, okay. Uh, don't bury yourself in there. <laughs> three, I think, right? Yeah, three, and then all the way across like so. Yeah, there we go. Now we go down here, let's see. Can I do it up here? Nope. We whack right there. Somewhere, whack it somewhere in here. There we go, yay, and there is our fluid tank, great. Now, what I want to do is I want to set up our containment chalice. And let's see, I can get this stuff out of my way here. I don't need this right now. Uh, the containment chalice, and let's see, a couple of light wells. Uh, we're gonna use the Xnet mod to manipulate our stuff. And uh, I don't think we're quite ready for that part yet. This is just going to be um, this is just going to be fluid collection. So let's go ahead and grab one of these big honking ones right here. Are you a big honking one? You are not the big honking one. I'm grabbing only big honking ones. Only big honking ones. And oh, again, we're going to need a power supply too. So let's grab. It'd be nice to have another one of these power cells right now. I don't have one though, so we're just going to use the charcoal generator. Definitely going to have to address real power issues soon, <laughs> but that's soon. That's not right now. So XNet is still a little bit new to me, so I will probably go um a few times, and you should be probably accustomed to that by now. <laughs> so let's put it right here. No. Uh, yeah. Let's put it right here. There's our containment chalice, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, Going to take a connector from Xnet and we're going to put it right there. And I think I'll just call it a chalice. I don't. You don't really need to uh, name it. And since we're only going uh, using the using it going up, I will set that to up. And oops, that's not what I need. Do them like here. Yeah, let's. All right, just, just thinking out loud here. If you can call it that. All right, let's do it like that. Cool. And then we put that one there, and we put that one there. And we should see, with a little luck, it's starting to accumulate stuff. Mm, yeah, there we go, great, okay, cool. It's pulling into the chalice now. Great, now let's go here, over here. Let's put a connector on, uh, put it on the bottom here. Oh, this one's silo. Again, I don't think it really matters. Um. Which way is that? That's north. Okay, let's leave leave north set to on. Let's leave up set to on. So I will just leave all the sides on. Okay. Now we need to take some of these network cables and we can run them between here. Okay. This alone is not going to do anything yet. If you look up here, you can see we're just, we're not gathering any starlight yet. So what we do is we come over here. I'm going to come over here. You're okay. <laughs> Put my controller over here. Um, there we go. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, I, I was wondering if it would actually see the network without a controller on the, uh, without a uh, connector on the back of it, but yes, it does. Okay, great. So here we go. Oh, and uh, of course we don't need, uh, we need fuel. Okay. All right. So we're going to, uh, we, we can run eight channels through this cable here and we're going to set the first one up here. So we select the first channel. We're going to say it is a fluid channel and we click create. There we go. 
fluid distribution, fluid priority. I think distribute is fine. No, you know what? Hang on just a second. All right, so back to channel number one here. Okay, so the chalice is going to, we're going to create it. We're going to extract from it. Uh, and then the silo we'll create, we're going to insert into it. And is that it? That is it. There we go. We are now creating liquid starlight here. It is funneling itself automatically into the chalice. And then the chalice is feeding it into the storage tank. And then uh, when we actually need to pull out of the storage tank or like growing crystals and that kind of stuff, we'll, uh, we'll be able to use more channels and, and all that good stuff. It's a really cool little thing. Um, I haven't played with XNet too much. This is the first thing I've done with it. Um, I, I, I did it in creative just to kind of, you know, figure out what in the heck was going on. And I, I, dig, I dig it. I dig it. I have uh, figured out a way I can actually feed the crystals into this thing automatically, also using XNet and some mechanical users, and I'll be setting that up in the future. But for now, this is going to work just fine. Um, I'm guessing that this is not going to help our Starlight Infuser up there at all. It's probably A, too far away, and B, if I'm pulling the uh, liquid out of it, then I um, it won't have anything to, to you know actually pull from. I think, though, you can actually do something about it. let's 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 take a look at this here okay so let's see so we want to um let's see extract priority uh oh no i guess you can't do it with fluids keep this no no yeah keep this amount of fluid in tank there we go disable insertion if fluid level is too high i'm guessing it's in millibuckets so let's keep a thousand millibuckets uh, maybe I say millibuckets? No, let's see. Keep a thousand in there. All right, let's see what happens now. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 500, 712. So this thing will hold 24 buckets. So maybe, maybe we tell it to hold on to like 12 buckets or something like that. That's probably a good idea. All right, so now it's it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that, it goes, uh, yeah. Oh, I like this, guys, I like this a lot. All right, so let's tell it to save 12, oops. Let's say, let's tell it to say, uh, keep itself half full. Well guys, that's going to do it. Yep, that's it, that's all I got time for today. I think that was uh, short and sweet. I got uh, some good stuff done. I uh, got a little frustrated with Astral Sorcery, but yeah, that's that's just all in a day's work around here. <laughs> I made some good progress with it, though. I'm pretty happy about that little machine down there. I am really eager to explore XNet some more now. I can see uh, that that thing can be pretty uh, pretty powerful if we wanted it to be. Um, might be a little techy, a little over my head, but uh, I am I am geared to butt my head against it as much as necessary to uh, crack it open and make it useful for us. Uh, good thing. Uh, glad about the mantle. Uh, I'm uh, happy that uh, I've got this uh, working as well as I have over here. Uh, I'm actually really happy about this. I wasn't sure how I was going to deal with the bucket. You know, and the thing is, is I never use mechanical users. I know it's like ancient technology at this point, uh, but I just, I don't know, I just kind of over, always overlook it. So, uh, so yeah, that was a nice little, uh, nice little uh, surprise there, a nice little way to use that. And uh, I look forward to using that for a few other things too. And um, yeah, so I think that's about... Uh, but that's all I got to say. I'm just babbling at this point. Oh, good. It's raining. <laughs> Yay. Well, that's a good sign right there. I will take that as a, a omen that it's time to go. So thanks a lot for coming by, guys. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.